Hey guys, it's Miki Asamar here, and today I'm going to be reading a Sigawara Koshi ex listener. This one is titled Lucky to Love You, and this is a soulmate to you where the soulmate can feel the other person's emotions. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Koshi. Burying your face into your hands, you slid onto the floor, releasing the tears that you had kept hidden all day. Why? Why is it like this? You knew he'd be coming soon, and there was no way that he couldn't feel what you were feeling right now. But for now, you just wanted to be alone, free to release your sorrows without anyone to share this pain. Why is someone like you stuck to someone like me? In this world, everyone had a soulmate, a single person out of billions who was meant to be with you. Until you actually met your soulmate, the bond that connected your emotions remained dormant, a missing piece not yet found. But when you did meet your soulmate, there wasn't any other experience in the world like it. For lack of better words, it was overwhelming. You had no idea what you had done to be so lucky to have Sugawara Koshi, Karasuno's beloved vice captain, as your soulmate. When you had met him, it was as if you were living your whole life without someone that you didn't know you desperately needed, the world only falling into place with when you met his warm, chocolatey brown eyes. It took your breath away. He took your breath away. Meeting Sugawara was like the greatest thing that had ever happened to you, but if meeting him was a dream, then this was your reality. Sugawara was. Sugawara, after all, handsome, amazing, and probably the sweetest person you had ever met. He was everything you could have wished to be, everything that you weren't, and it tore you apart inside. No matter how hard you tried to live up to him, nothing changed. He stayed out of reach, amazing as he could be, while you stayed plain and simple as ever. You knew that Sugawara didn't think of you in that way, reminding you every single day of how much he loved you and how much he was happy to have you as a soulmate, but it was all too easy to compare yourself to him, to feel stuck in his shadow. One was where today was one of the times where it hurt more than it usually did. Throughout the day, you found your gaze shifting to Sugawara, watching as he went upon his daily life with his usual sunny disposition, dazzling everyone that he met. He was truly loved by everyone. There was no way you couldn't like you couldn't like someone like him, and that thought brought tears to your eyes. Of course, Sugawara felt the change in your emotions immediately, and he had been looking for you all day. You could feel his worry growing as hours and hours passed, and he still didn't get so much as a glimpse of you. It was a wonder how you had avoided him for, for so long. But you knew that you wouldn't be able to hide any longer. Knowing him, he would probably head to your house at this very moment, still dressed in his sweaty volleyball gear. Looking up at the ceilings, more tears escaped your stinging eyes, feeling less and less that your soulmate or feeling like less than your soulmate ached terribly. But what hurt more was the fact that you had made Sugawara feel awful. Despite all your pain and tears, you could sense how panicked he was forced to feel everything you were feeling, but he must be thinking, or what must he be thinking, being stuck with such an emotional soulmate. Distantly, you heard the front door open and close, muffled voices conversing in different tones before a hurried set of footsteps made their way up the stairs. Wyan, from the other side of the door, you heard Sugawara's breathless voice. Wyan, are you in there? What's wrong? There was no point in lying to him, since... He knew what you were feeling, so you couldn't say you were fine. He could be dense that you were, or he could sense that you were very much not fine. After all, you didn't want to burden him with your insecurities more than you already had. Wyan? His voice rose and you could feel the weight leaning against the wooden panel. Wyan, please tell me what's wrong. What happened? You couldn't take it. He sounded so desperate and scared. Reaching up, you unlocked the door and stood up, opening it. The moment it moved, Sugawara burst inside, his hands cupping your face as he looked over at you. His emotions flooded over you. Worry, fear, desperation, need. All of it washed over you, and it made your breath hitch. Watery brown orbs bore into your smaller swollen one, what? into your swollen eyes, and one arm wrapped around your waist pulling you closer as his other hand stroked your hair smoothly. Please, please tell me what's wrong, Ryan. You've been avoiding me all day, I just... I, ca I can't. The usually cheerful man seemed to be at a struggle for words as he held you tighter, his voice breaking. 
A new wave of tears filled your eyes and you buried your face into his chest, releasing everything. How would you never have thought you could how have you ever thought that you could hide this from him? It, it's just that I'm nothing compared to you, Koshi. Nothing. You're amazing and wonderful and handsome, and I'm none of those things. Looking up at him with wide, tearful eyes, he choked. I don't deserve to have you as my soulmate. If it wasn't for this bond, you'd be completely out of my reach. Sigawara stared for a few moments in silence as he buried your face into his chest once more, heart heavy and sad. Through the bond, his, you felt his sadness grow, along with something else, warmer and brighter. Why then? Why didn't you tell me you felt like this earlier? I, I don't know, I, I guess I just didn't want to feel like a burden to you. Oh my love, you would never be a burden to me. Leaning down, he began to press soft, adorned kisses all over your face. How could I be out of reach when I've been all yours all along? Gazing down at you, he smiled softly. There's nothing to deserve. I love you, and you love me, and that's it. But I- He silenced you with a kiss on top of your lips, his mouth moving softly and lovingly against yours. Pulling away, Sugawara had led you to the bed and tugged you down next to him. As he lay in his embrace, chest- or ear to his chest, the rhythmic thumping of his heart and the warmth of his arms around you, it had a calming effect, and your sobs quieted. Wyan, you have no idea how amazing you are. What I feel for you, it goes beyond the soulmate bond. I didn't fall in love with you because you're my soulmate. I fell in love with you because you're you. My red emotions swelled and rolled within as Sugawara, or as everything Sugawara had felt for you, poured into every fiber of your being. There wasn't a bit of disgust or disappointment. No. On the contrary, it was all pure love. Raw and powerful. Pride and adoration. Lust. Everything he felt towards you began with love. And it was impossible how much he loved you. Why then, I'm the lucky one. I'm lucky that I get to love you. Your tears renewed, this time with happiness as weight lifted from your shoulders. You are so smart and beautiful and kind. I don't know what it did to be so lucky to have you. Tilting your face up towards his, you let your sadness and insecurities drown in your soulmate's ever-ending ever love for you. Sensing the change, he smiled too, brown eyes relieved. I love you the way you are, Wayan. Sigawara let his own tears spill out as you cupped his face with your hands and kissed him softly, releasing every bit of love that you had for this perf perfect man. I love you too, Koshi, more than you'll ever know. Kissing him again, you whispered sweetly against his lips, his strong arms holding you as close as possible. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed, that was really adorable. Um, luck, I'm not gonna lie, I would do this. I'm like super insecure, so I would probably do that. <sighs> but that was really adorable, I really enjoyed that. Um, if you did like the video, make sure you subscribe and tap the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a video. That is really important because my uploading schedule isn't too strict. So, um, well, I mean, I do post every day, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have too much of a time-wise definition, I guess. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, if you did, make sure you like the video because it has something for the YouTube algorithm. And comment down below some other characters you want me to do, and I'll try my best to do them for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!